was first diagnosed with OCD, I had to unlearn everything that I thought I knew about it. Like everyone else, I saw how movies and TV shows portrayed OCD as having a clean house, lining things up, loving to organize, not wanting to shake hands, and even having perfectly sharpened pencils. It doesn't help that we have celebrities saying things like this. You say OCD is a disease, I say it's a blessing. The truth is, portraying OCD in a lighthearted, quirky way discounts all of the anxiety and life interruptions that people with OCD face. It discounts the years of behavioral and cognitive therapy that may be needed just to live a normal life. Because of this misrepresentation, I thought that what I was going through was normal and nothing to worry about. It wasn't until I read the book Turtles All the Way Down by John Green that I realized that my experiences were far from normal. So I continued to go to therapy to rewire my brain, and I realized that I had traits of OCD that I experienced as a child. If I had had access to an accurate portrayal of OCD back then, I could have began treatment over a decade ago. With that being said, I knew that I wanted my capstone project to educate people about the reality of OCD and try to lift the heavy stigma that clouds its perception. To help me with this process, I reached out to members of an online support group and asked them, how would you describe how having OCD feels to people that don't have it? The 86 responses were heartbreaking. Some of the most vivid responses were, it feels like being imprisoned in your own mind, like you're just a puppet and OCD has all of the strings, like you're on a roller coaster that never stops, like when you have a feeling that you left your passport at home and you're already on your way to the airport all the time. It's like being a hamster on a wheel that you can't stop, like being in New York City during rush hour, like two brains are arguing together, mental torture, like someone pulling on each of your arms, insisting that you go with them. Like having your least favorite song stuck in your head 24-7. Like you're surrounded by TV screens, displaying your obsession, but the only way to change the channel is to do the compulsion. After connecting with all of these people, I couldn't help but think of all the people in the world that have OCD but have no clue because the world portrays it as a silly little quirk that causes no harm. If you or someone you know may be silently struggling with mental health, please visit madeofmillions.com.